Hi, my name is Kaylee and I'm the CEO of Chatty Cathy. Hi, my name is Mary Beth and I am a software engineer at Chatty Cathy. And today we're going to go through everything that we did to bridge the gap between marketing and engineering and using Webflow to do it. So the pieces we're going to go through today, why we chose Webflow amongst all of the options in the space, our implementation of how we set it up completely from scratch, and also how things are going and how they continue to go. Why we chose Webflow to begin with. To start off, we are a small B2B SaaS company. We're remote first, we're a startup. And our product, Chatty Cathy, is the digital social assistant for every great project team. Essentially, we make sure that teams feel like they belong and that managers feel like rock stars. And when I say startup, I really mean startup. We are constantly changing things, constantly iterating, adding new team members, changing things all the time. And we knew that we needed to find a platform that would change with us. Our company's priorities when we realized we needed to do this. At that time, we had a custom built website that I built myself because this company started off in my spare bedroom during COVID. We knew we needed to choose a website tool that we could use for a really long time. And like I mentioned before, would change with us. So as you can see on the right, our website before Webflow was just code that I wrote. So it made things like um, adding any marketing tools really, really hard because anytime we needed to make a change or make an advancement, I had to do it and I had to physically write code to do it. This included things like blogs, SEO tags, pretty much anything you could think of we needed to do manually. On top of all of this, while we were making this decision, we also needed to redesign the site. So we needed to turn rough Canva designs into high quality website pages and have the ability to edit continuously without involving engineering. My awesome COO, Erica, was able to take all these great ideas we had around how we wanted to market our product, how we wanted to address our target market, and she was able to create designs in Canva, which is an incredible tool, but a really low tech tool. We didn't have pixel perfect designs. Uh, we pretty much just had what you see here on the right. And we needed to turn all of that into a beautiful website, a beautiful blog with lots of different pages. And for that, we realized we needed a lot of help. So we looked at a few different options. We looked at HubSpot landing pages and Squarespace predominantly, but Webflow really ended up being the best fit for quite a few different options. We knew that at the end of the day, we needed basic elements like sliders and carousels. We needed to make sure that those were quick, really easy for our team to learn, but we also needed to make sure that they were customizable. So we wanted to be able to take things out of the box and then put our own special spin on it. We also wanted to add custom code to our site where we needed. We had a lot of custom forms, some custom integrations that we had written. And that piece we were really easily able to do with our custom coded site. And we wanted the same flexibility in a website building tool. We really needed our non-technical team members to easily contribute and edit pages. So when I built our initial website, as I kind of mentioned, it was just me and my co-founder. We were just pulling things together. And as our team grew, we ended up with these incredible marketing people who just didn't have any technical background, which was totally okay. But we needed them to be able to do things like improve our SEO, add blog pages, do all of this stuff without really a ton of my input which leads me to the last piece. We really needed to add Google tracking tags and analytics, make sure that they were easily added and updated by anyone on the team. Previously with our custom build, whenever that needed to happen, I needed to go and add them in. That was becoming really tough as our target market changed, our product changed. Every time that changed, we needed to optimize our marketing strategies. And to do that, we needed a tool that would allow us to do it really, really quickly. So now I'll hand it over to MB to talk about our implementation. 
All right. Yeah. So speaking of all of those non-technical people, let's talk about the different departments that are represented on our Webflow team. Erica is our COO and her experience is completely non-technical. She made the design for the whole website on Canva, and then we were able to work together to understand which pieces could be done with Webflow's built-in tools and which ones I could build using the custom code editor provided by Webflow. Next is me. I'm Mary Beth, and I'm a software engineer. Before we began our website redesign, I had very little experience in building a website using anything besides hard code. This site was built based on those mockups from Canva, and I was able to easily translate them to the Webflow platform thanks to their comprehensive documentation. Next, we have Betsy, who's our marketing manager, and she is another non-technical person who is an important pillar of this process for us. Betsy learned how to access the code editor from the website designer, how to write customized code in order to track our Google Analytics and add SEO tags. Within the span of just a week, someone with absolutely no coding knowledge was able to utilize the Webflow documentation to write custom working code. Go Betsy! Finally, we have our CEO, Kaylee, who was able to easily keep up with our changes and make final edits before approval and deployment. Because she didn't need to oversee every moving piece during this process, she had the freedom to instead focus on all of the other plates that a startup CEO has to keep spinning. So let's talk a little bit about my learning process. I had never used Webflow before starting this, but luckily Webflow has incredible documentation that allowed me to pick up everything that I needed to know to get started in less than a week. I was able to find walkthroughs and other articles for every process that I had questions about. Even better, this information is often presented in both video form and written so that you can always find what works best for your learning style. The whole process from when I began learning Webflow to the build to the date of deployment took only about one month. Our final website has about 20 incredible pages and we saw an immediate positive impact on the traffic that was generated as well as the time that users were actually spending on our website. Similar to CSS in the coding world, Webflow provides styling classes that can be applied to many different elements across your website to ensure that brand styling standards are retained. This helped our build to be even faster, especially when we developed our service pages, which needed to be styled identically, but with slight variation. Being able to edit these classes and add subclasses cut a huge amount of time off of our build timeline. Thanks to Webflow, as you can see right here, these 20 plus pages are furnished with videos, animations, sliders, a HubSpot integration, Google Analytics tracking, and so many more cool things. The Webflow designer is a visual learner's best friend. Understanding how inline and block elements behave is one thing, but to have their behavior shown to you during the build process is invaluable. Something that you don't hear very often is that we were never limited by mobile sizing during this build. One of the most difficult moments is when you realize that your layout looks beautiful on a laptop size screen, but becomes a jumbled mess when reduced to mobile sizing. Thanks to the visual aids provided by Webflow, we were able to retain the integrity of the design for every page, regardless of the size that it's being viewed on. So let's talk a little bit now about how things are going now that we have mastered Webflow. One unexpected bonus for me is a wealth of CSS knowledge that now feels second nature to me. I attribute this to those visual aids provided by Webflow and the designer. Now, even when I'm styling with code outside of Webflow, I am able to more easily visualize web layouts and feel confident in how to implement my ideas. Not only does this make me better at my job, but it opens up my mind to so many possibilities. And now I'll bring Kaylee back to talk about some of the other takeaways. Yeah, what was so incredible for me as a CEO is that I no longer had to oversee every element of the website. So before we moved over to Webflow, if there was any change that needed to be made, because I was a technical CEO, I either made it or led the effort to make it. But after we moved over to Webflow, I no longer had to do that, and my team could do their magic all on their own. So for example, before we moved over to Webflow, we had a blog that was hosted on Medium. Our marketing team told us that this really wasn't the best option because we wanted to get more traffic over to our website. So we knew we had to custom build a blog uh, and we chose to do it on Webflow. And in choosing to do it on Webflow, 
MB was able to make great templates, our marketing team was able to go in and create custom blogs, and then they were able to publish them completely on their own, add SEO tags, do everything without me, which was an incredible feeling to know that my team was able to have complete success without my input. And this leads me over to Betsy as well. So Betsy on our marketing team now has a ton more agency. She can change our SEO without engineering help. She can make changes to our analytics completely without us. She can publish new blogs, anything under the sun, she can pretty much do without our help, which is incredible for a growing team with limited resources. It's truly been a game changer. So to sum it all up, as a small company, you need to be able to make changes rapidly. Your product might be changing, your target market might be changing, your industry might be changing. And if you don't have a website that can change as quickly as you need to, that could be the end for your company. But what's so great about Webflow is Webflow really has been the best tool to make this happen and Webflow changes as quickly as we do. Thank you all so much for listening to our talk. Uh, you can find us on LinkedIn. Don't hesitate to reach out. And thanks again. Thank you.